Hello everyone, welcome to EverydayHDR.com's free tutorial Friday. I'm Blake Rudis and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can take one uh, RAW file, edit it in camera RAW, and turn it into five different exposures for a total of negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two exposure values for HDR tone mapping. Um, this is a little bit different than just taking an ordinary RAW file, bringing it straight into Photomatix, and just tone mapping one RAW file. Uh, there's advantages to this, and that's that you can use Camera Raw's uh, extremely powerful um, noise reduction, as well as correcting white balance accurately rather than using uh, Photomatix. So let me go ahead and show you how I would go ahead and do this in Camera Raw. I would go ahead and change the white balance. I would check auto first. If it looks decent, I would go with it. Otherwise, I would try to change it to the lighting that I was in. Uh, and you can do this easily by clicking on the white balance and then scrolling through it with your wheel. It looks like it was tungsten lighting, but auto works well. I would not change the exposure. We're going to do that later. Um, if it if my key image was overexposed or underexposed, then I would probably get it to a point where, where it looks decent. But um, for this sake, I think this one looks good where it is. Um, I'm not going to play with recovery too much or fill light because the HDR process is going to bring out the fill light. Uh, the recovery, if there were anything, um, like these highlights right here, it might actually be a good idea to play with that a little bit just to pull those highlights in a little bit so they aren't so strong during the HDR process, tone mapping process. Um, the blacks, we can go ahead and fix those a little bit. Wouldn't change the brightness too much or the contrast because that's going to come out when we HDR the image. Um, you can change the vibrance a little bit and I would stay away from saturation, but the main thing I'm doing here in Camera Raw is using the extremely powerful white balance selections as well as uh, the uh, noise reduction. If you've never used noise reduction in Camera Raw, it's extremely powerful. Um, I start out by bringing luminance, luminance pr pretty high up into about 60 and then a luminance detail, I'm going to bring that to about 50. And let's see what we've got here when we do our preview. So that's how much noise it reduced with that. And that, that's pretty good. But one of the other things is that you can mask the amount of noise that is being reduced in Camera Raw. And, and you can drag this mask to the right, but you're not going to see how the mask is working. Now, if you hold Alt and move the mask over, you can see how that noise is going to be affecting your image. And you can see here that anything that is black is the area where your noise reduction is going to be applying. Anything that is white is where your noise reduction is not going to be applying. This is a great way to keep the detail in areas that you want to keep the detail and mask the noise out in those vibrant areas that need that masking, like the background. And we're going to go ahead and open the image. So now what you want to do in order to save these as um, bracketed exposures is go to um, the adjustment layer, go to exposure, change the... Uh, actually, let's back that up. Go ahead and uh, just save this as a TIFF. So make sure that the image mode is a 16-bit because we want this to be as high as we can. We're extracting as much information out of, as we can out of that raw file to bring that into Photomatic. So we'll save that as a 16-bit TIFF. So go to Save As. And I already have it set up here. But we're just going to do this as 0. Save this as 0. So we know that that's the um, key image, I like to call. Now go to that exposure and go plus 1. Now press Control e that's going to go ahead and flatten the image, go File, go Save As, and go change that 0 to plus 1. Now go back to your History Palette, modify that exposure to plus 2. Control E again, and then File, Save As, and then change that to plus 2. Go back to the History, modify Exposure. We're going to change this now to negative 1. Control E, File, Save As. Uh, I'm going to change that plus two to negative one. I like to do five exposures. You can do as many as you'd like. Um, I like to do my negative or plus one exposure value. Now we're going to change that to 0 0.20. And then again, press Control E, and then File, Save As, and then go to negative two. Press OK. So. As you can see here, 
these are the images that I've saved. These are the ones I saved before when I was doing my test. Yeah, I want to delete those. This is the original exposure that came out of my camera. And I could have taken all five of these exposures right into Photomatix and processed them as raw files, which is what I usually do. But if I only have one exposure, I can take that raw and edit it in camera raw. Now, I've taken both of those exposures, the camera raw version that I did, as well as the um, the raw files, the five separate raw files, and I brought them into Photomatix and I tone mapped them separately with the exact same settings, just to see how it would look on something that had the color correction done as well as the um, noise reduction done on it, just to see how the noise reduction would change between the camera raw files, or the raw files, pardon me, that came out of my camera, and then the camera raw that I made um, with the noise reduction. And you can see it, it did a pretty decent job of reducing the noise. I'd still, in post-processing, I'd still need to reduce the noise a little bit in uh, in the background, but it did a good job on the helmet areas. Um, it looks like I still have a color balance, uh, white balance issue in both of these, where these highlights are hitting very yellow and these ones are hitting very blue. I would easily change that with curves, it's not a problem. But you get a different look on both of them. Um, the camera raw version definitely has a cleaner look in the smooth the areas that are meant to be smooth, whereas the images that came straight out of my camera and brought from a raw file directly into Photomatix could definitely use a little bit of work. So either way you look at it, you're still going to have a little bit of post-processing to do, whether you make the fake exposures or what they like to call in the industry pseudo rawls. I don't really like calling it pseudo raw because you're still extracting enough high dynamic range out of that uh, raw file. But um, either way you look at it, you're still going to have some post-processing to do on either one of them. But what I've done for you is I've created a uh, an action for this that you can download um, from my blog uh, right below the, uh, the video. And in that action, what you're going to see is um, a three exposure value, plus or minus one step, 16-bit TIFF, five and seven. So when you press play, let's just go ahead and do that on this one just for grins. Let's go ahead and press play on this five one. It's immediately gonna ask you to save. And this is the key image that you're saving. So you can save that as zero. And then the next one that pops up is gonna be your plus one. You can save that as plus one. And then the next one that pops up is going to be your plus two. The next one that pops up is gonna be your negative one and then you're negative two. So I've done all the work for you. You don't have to do any of the action work or even any of the exposure work. Um, it will go ahead and pop up and, and ask you to save it in the appropriate file, in, in the appropriate folder, more, more than likely the root folder from where you have that exposure. So if you have a single exposure, you can use these actions to create multiple exposures of that for HDR tone mapping. I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to contact me at everydayhdr at gmail.com. Again, I'm Blake Rudis, and this is everydayhdr.com's free tutorial Friday. You guys have a great weekend, and uh, happy HDRing.